What's up guys? Uh, just made it to BP. I was running a little late, so. But I'm here now, pictures are still batting, so it'll get started here pretty soon. Um, had a great time in Seattle. Dodgers came out with another big win yesterday. Kershaw looking like an ace, the ace that he is. Uh, after starting off the season kind of injured and a little slow, he's turned it right back around. And I think we're seeing things from him we didn't expect to see so far, or this late in his career, especially after, well, not so much this late in his career, but after the back injuries and everything happening this season. Uh, so happy to see him doing well. Offense went off again yesterday. They had a pretty solid series in Seattle. Um, but the best part about today is we have Jansen back. He is cleared to go. Um, he will be active in tonight's game. He says he will, wait, Jan Kenley Jansen will close tonight. Oh, well, I didn't get to read what the corresponding move was. I'm assuming it hasn't been announced yet. So um, it's great to have him back. We need him. Uh, bullpen didn't do bad at all in Seattle, but it, we, we do need him. We're going and playing the Cardinals tonight. Uh, do, they're doing pretty well right now in the NL. They're still not leading their division, but they're one of the hotter teams right now, I believe. So it doesn't hurt to have Jansen back now. Uh, better timing. So, and then I think it's the Padres this weekend, which we should be able to sweep, hopefully, because the Diamondbacks just really aren't losing on days that we... Uh, on days we get the win. So hopefully sooner rather than later, we can kind of turn things around on that end. So, but either way, glad to have him back. Um, you know, I don't even know who's pitching tonight. I think actually it said Hunjin was pitching tonight, if I remember correctly, but actually I can, he pitched Wednesday, so that might be right. I totally forgot to look at, I think it's Hunjin tonight, Wood tomorrow, and I know Beeler's pitching for uh, on Wednesday. I just can't remember if it's Wood tomorrow or if it's Hunjin tomorrow uh, or tonight. Yeah. Sorry, that was confusing. I'm almost positive it's Ryu tonight, but uh, hopefully the offense can keep this kind of strong run going right now. They're hitting the ball well. Uh, hit a lot of home runs, but they hit really well with runners in scoring position this weekend. So. That's kind of been our thing right now uh, that hasn't been going our way. So hopefully that'll turn around and they can just take this kind of, they scored 11 runs Friday, four on Saturday and 12 yesterday. So 23, they scored about, yeah, I think it was 27 runs just uh, over the weekend. So let's keep it going. Let's get the offense going. Um, pitchers are still doing BP, but once the position players get up, I'm going to, well, Rich Hill's crushing them, but he crushes them to right field, so can't get over there. But I'm going to get ready, go get out there, get my glove on, hope to catch some, and I will catch up with you guys afterwards and let you all know how BP went. You guys know, since Hunjin's out here crushing BP balls, he's not pitching tonight. Look at that. Jesus. He's hit like two or three out in a row. So tonight we've got Wood, and then uh, tomorrow night we'll have Hunjin. But this guy knows how to swing a bat. Look at this. Just wanted to let you guys know that Wood's been looking pretty strong his last few starts, so I'm feeling good about him on the mound tonight. Well, I decided to end BP today early. Just so hot out there, and I'm still so tired from the Seattle trip. I just like felt like I was getting in people's ways out there and didn't want to get hit by a ball. So but the guys look good. They're out there. They're crushing it. Uh, hitting a lot of home runs, especially from the righties. Uh, Taylor Kemp. So hopefully, is that swinging right now? Utley's swinging right now. But everyone's kind of looking good out there. Team looks loose. Look, looks like they're having some fun. So uh, that's always great. Want them to be ready to go for this series. Uh, they have the one off day on Thursday this week. And so just need them to be ready to go. Right now we need the offense more than anything. Uh, pitching minus the bullpen. I mean, the bullpen did pretty good in Seattle. Of course there was the balk uh, by Floro, but that's, a, that's always gonna be a controversial play. It's one of those things that like, I just, I don't know about ending a game on a balk call. Like it's, there's gotta be something else around it. I, I don't know. I get it's part of the game <clears throat> and you don't want pitchers deceiving the batter. And I agree, like you can't have any of that happening. But I also do feel like at the same time, 
you don't want to be ending a game, especially one like that, where it's two teams who are fighting for playoff contention, and then you end it on a vault call. One that seems like it's, like I said, a questionable call, a guy just stepping off the mound. So other than that, though, the bullpen's been, did pretty well in Seattle. Ross Cup had an immaculate inning yesterday. Uh, kind of bummed I fell asleep. I was so tired coming home from Seattle. I slept the entire game yesterday. So bummed I missed that, but that's awesome for him. Got to boost up his confidence for sure. Uh, so, oh, let me show you today's giveaway. Not that we'll get much use of this here, but it's still cool to have, always fun to have. Uh, it's a beanie. I didn't open it yet, so you're gonna have to see it in the packaging because I can't open it with one hand. But there it is, pretty cool. I love beanies, got the 60th anniversary logo, and then the sponsor is super small on the back, so pretty cool beanie. I'm sure you'll find them all over eBay if you didn't get one at tonight's game, but other than that, I got about two hours till game time. Jance is on the field. He looks like he's having a lot of fun, so happy to see him back and healthy, and it looks like we will be seeing him tonight, or at least I hope so, but uh, let's get this, get this game going. Got to find a way to pass two hours, <laughs> but can never complain being in Dodger Stadium. So I will catch up with you guys a little bit later and let's get this win tonight. Famous peanut man, here we go. Oh, one-handed. If you ever sit lows, you got to look for that guy. Always a good time up here. This game, not so much a good time. To zero, fifth inning, Woods night is already over. JT Chargois coming in. Dodgers had bases loaded in the first inning, did absolutely nothing with it. So nothing new really, unfortunately. And then last inning, they get first and second with nobody out. Taylor, Barnes, and Wood do absolutely nothing. And they get stuck at first and second. So unfortunately, this seems like the norm with this team. Uh, but if you can't put runs up against teams like this, there's no shot at making the playoffs in the long run. You don't have enough time left to be losing these games, so luckily the Diamondbacks aren't playing today, but this game is not looking good for us. Still plenty of time, but not the best. We shall see how it goes. two outs. Uh, Jansen came into the ninth, gave up back-to-back -back home runs to start the inning, and his first appearance uh, back from the DL, so unfortunately they blew the lead there. Before the game, they said Jansen was pitching, I think, the ninth no matter what, the way it sounded. Um, unfortunately, he did not get a good welcome back, but it, it is what it is. He had to come back eventually. If we bring in someone else from the bullpen and he blows it, we're still going to all have the same complaint. So um, we need our closer back and we need him healthy. Hopefully he's feeling good and hopefully he's got it out of his system. If there's a way the Dodgers can get a comeback, that would be awesome. But it's also already 11:20, So if they could do it this inning, I'd really appreciate it. Ah, Grandall struck out, spoke too soon. Three at-bats tonight, three strikeouts, but 
that's it. So I'm going to head home. I'll do it again tomorrow, I guess. Diamondbacks didn't play, so luckily we only lose half a game. Um, but other than that, the offense was pretty pathetic tonight with runners in scoring position. So apparently they didn't really carry over what they did in Seattle. So I'm going to go, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.